this is going to be me showing you what to do and what not to do at the start of your Skyrim adventure in 2021. All right, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Sinpa Billy back at it again with yet another awesome video for you guys today. I have taken a little bit of hiatus from the last video, which was a shiny Pokemon video, kind of out there. I just kind of wanted to get something out to you guys because I really have been having some technical difficulties getting some videos out for you guys. I want to go into that a little bit later in the video, maybe, but. For right now, it's like I was talking about the technical difficulties, I had to delete all of my Skyrim characters. So, and I don't know why it made me do this, but it, it was, wasn't was loading the character. It would crash every time I would go into the character, and I don't really know why. So, what I did, I went ahead and just deleted everything to do with Skyrim on my Xbox, re-downloaded it, reset my Xbox, and now here we are. We've got a much better setup going on now. Alright, so here we are in the character customization. This is pretty much going to be the guide character from here on out. We're going to go with Khajiit just because, I mean, why not? Probably going to go with a dude on the account of the name. Probably wouldn't work. Uh, let's pick a good one. That one right there. Perfect. Um, skin tone, perfect. Weight is perfect. I don't know why you have to reset that to get the good weight. I'm just going to go through here and make him, and then I'll come back to you guys when we get the name. All right, didn't do much. Change the color of the eyes, change the color of the chin, and we pretty much got this guy how we're wanting him to look. He looks pretty cool, and now we're going to name him Mufasa. And another thing I really wanted to do with this guy, on all of these guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it, and I'm going to show you guys me doing it also, because with the first Skyrim guys, I kind of, some of the stuff I already had level 100, like Conjuration and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. And I didn't get to show you guys me actually leveling it up. Uh, I don't know if Conjuration was actually one of them, but I think it was. Uh, I kind of want to show you guys 1 to 100 or 15 to 100 or whatever we have the skill, uh, wherever we have it at, at the time of me doing it. And I'm probably just going to power level this guy to get him up to where we can just pretty much do anything in the game. Um, mainly because I've got some gods on here um, that we're wanting to do and I don't want to really rehash the only one I really think I'm going to rehash is the smithing one because you guys have given me a lot of hints and a lot of comments to streamline that video a lot and make it a lot more efficient on the player and on the person using the guide so I probably will that and it's my most most viewed video uh, my most popular video by actually like I think it's like four times five times bigger than the closest video it's literally 50 percent of my youtube channel <laughs> so we're going to be remaking that video and we're going to be remaking it better 100 times better than we did it the first time oh that guy got his head cut off i guess uh, that's horrible but i'm going to cut here we're going to go until we get out of the first dungeon of the game Hel or helm's deep uh Helgen Keep or whatever it's called. We're going to go through, get all that done, and then we are going to come back right when we get out with Rayloff. Alright, so right here, I actually am going to stop right here and wait on my boy Rayloff. I'm not actually going to leave the um, Perimesis. I think that he should be on his way any second. I'm going to wait for him, and I will show you guys the very first step to getting the best start in Skyrim okay right here you want to get him like that come over here to settings go up to gameplay and put it on legendary difficulty get in front of him here actually it's your sneak here and you're gonna to want to back him up really quickly because he's gonna hit go back just a little bit every single time yeah okay slow it down don't go as fast and it'll level you up every single time. So you can basically get your sneak up to level 100 already and be whatever level you want, pretty much leaving Helgen uh, keep uh, because you can uh, over and over again legendary the skills. I'm not going to do that because I really don't care to. Okay, we're still on legendary. Okay. Um, <laughs> make sure to change your difficulty back down to whatever you're playing at. I'm playing at novice. So, much more manageable. All right, now that we're out, we can pretty much go wherever we want. I always recommend coming straight over here, and you should find a Shrine of Talos. 
If you guys would like to see some uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, or maybe even a Let's Play on that, I really just want to find my like game that I can play beside Skyrim. Minecraft wasn't working out, sadly, but S Zelda is actually much closer. Here's the here is the place that we're looking for, but Zelda is actually much closer to Skyrim, so maybe that might work out here in the future. But we're gonna take all the gold, and you should be able to come over here and find some gold on these people too, an iron mace. This is the money bags right here. He's gonna have something like that right there, potion, some Thalmor, Thalmor orders, and then those really expensive robes that you can take early game to get some gold. All right, if you see, look up there, you'll see that uh, standing stone. Um, icon up there you're definitely going to want to go to that and uh kind of try to be thinking while you're walking that way of which direction you're going to want to take a character be it mage warrior or sneak and uh, you can always change this later uh heck you don't even have to go the direction that you choose the stone it always helps though because this will give you 20 percent bonus xp to the kind of skills you have and i'll show you those skills any of the green ones are the sneak the blue ones are the magic, and the red ones are the warrior. It's very simple. Um, Rail off is right there. And now, pretty much, Skyrim, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. But typically, what I do is Ember Shard Mine. And I'm not going to do that this time, mainly because this is just kind of a guide showing you guys things to do right when you get into a new world, or new world, a uh, new playthrough. Um, mainly, what I would do is go over there and start farming that glitch chest. And there's our destination right there. So I've pretty much given you guys the way to level up early game, super early game. Like you could literally level up to 100 right there or 200 or however long you want to sit there and just smack Rayloff's back. I don't like doing that though. I don't like to break the game that early. I kind of like to play a little bit. And there are certain skills that I don't like to abuse. And I'll show you those right now. I don't like to abuse the two-handed, one-handed, or archery, any of those, or the armor that I'm going to be using. So if I'm going to be using heavy armor, I will abuse the light armor to level up, but I won't abuse the heavy armor so that I can level up stuff while I'm playing because I like to have that sense of progression. Sneak, I don't because I like to sneak a lot. Lock picking, I don't because I like to lock pick a lot. I don't ever pick pocket. I don't really, I mean, that one's hard enough as it is. Um... All of the magic, I never use them, uh, except for Restoration, so I power level all of them. I power level Enchanting, obviously, and Smithing to get the best gear. But I like to use the ones that I use in combat and while playing the game. I don't power level those, simply because it kind of takes some enjoyment out of the game. I'm going to try to avoid this encounter. I think they're actually going to get it. But uh, that's a way to start the Companions if you wanted to go ahead and start that really, really soon. All right, so now that we're here in the very vibrant white run, we can do literally anything and everything. So what I like to do is go up here to, well, actually, no, I don't like to do that. I like to come over here. <laughs> and I've got a lot of comments on this in some of my past videos, mainly the big video that has a lot of views and a lot of likes and stuff like that and comments of how I'm doing the getting out of white run glitch wrong. Uh, this is the hardest way to do it, or one of the harder ways to do it. Um, the reason that I use this, though, as I've explained in the comments, is my buddy showed me this a long time ago, before we really knew how to get on YouTube and stuff like that, uh, when we were like 10. Uh, he showed me this, and I've just used it ever since, kind of as a throwback, kind of a callback to that. And I just never really changed it, because it's not that hard of a way uh, unless you have the unofficial patch, which I believe to be the cause of the barrier glitch uh, right here, causing this glitch. Like, uh, it won't let you up on here. But I do believe I've gotten so good at it that I don't even have to save, baby. Let's go. But I'm just going to go around here, abuse this chest for a little while. You guys have already seen me do this in a couple of the gods because it is very, very effective for getting gold. And I'll come back to you guys after I've gotten the amount of gold we're going to need. Alright, so here we are up and under the Sky Forge. And if you don't know, you can pretty much get under here. And this is uh, Yorlin Greymane's uh, inventory. So it will have his gold in it as well and all of his arrows and things like that. Where's his gold? 
There's his gold. All I'm going to be taking is the gold. Obviously, you're going to want to take all the smithing items as well. Um, and then just kind of wait two days and talk to him and rinse and repeat. After you have around 5,000 gold, uh, actually 5,000 gold exactly, or I would go ahead and get six. Um, you can come all the way up here to Dragon's Reach and buy, well, uh, you have to do a few story missions for this, but I, I don't want to do so much on this guy. I kind of want to just get in and get the swing of things and tell you guys how to do it. So you do the first couple story missions. You come over here and you tell them about stuff and you're going to be able to talk to Preventus Avishi or whatever. He's standing right up there. I'll try to remember to zoom in on him. But anyway, you'll talk to him. I'm going to leave here because I don't want to do this story mission yet. But anyway, you're going to talk to him. And he's going to be he's going to allow you to purchase property in the city. And you're going to be able to buy a house for $5,000 or 5,000 gold. 5,000 septums. So, pretty much in this guide, we have talked about how to power level your character from the very beginning of the game all the way up to whatever level you really feel like getting to it's going to take a lot but i mean basically you can infinitely level your character off of that and we've talked about how to get this house right here this lovely lovely house and we talked about how to get infinite gold at the very start of the game and infinite or smithing items at the very start of the game i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully this hiatus is over hopefully i will be able to make more consistent content here in the future we are almost at 700 subscribers which i believe we are at let me check real quick 684 subs here at the very tail end of march guys i cannot believe the support over the past few weeks over the past few months over the entire year and two months that i've been doing youtube Thank you all so much for all of your support. Please like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, comment down below if there's any kind of series or videos that you think that I should make in the future. And if you would like to see some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, I would love to do a Let's Play on that or any kind of guide that you guys might like to see. Uh, thank you all so much. But above all else, thank you for your time.